saying that nigga did it how I always wanted to do it, and I'll never be able to do it like that. If I can have y'all attention for one moment, um, I just want to say that we, we have to start taking accountability for ourselves in terms of, of who we like as wrestlers. Um, I, I am no longer going to allow anyone to say that uh, Mercedes Monet is one of the goats in women's wrestling. I won't allow it. I won't, <laughs> anybody, I won't, I won't allow anybody to say You start going hot. Not allowed. I, won't, I don't want anybody to say anything good about Britt Baker being a great wrestler. Now, granted, Britt Baker has some issues. Like she had, like she got hurt, she had back surgery, she had stroke, and everything else. But when I did a deep dive as to like how good Britt Baker is, I, I, they they got the same problem. They got the exact same problem. I, and I know I'm talking wrestling early, and I know we haven't gotten like in our intros. Don't nobody know who we are yet, and I get that, and I respect that. But no, they they they, they know who we are by now. It's all good. Continue. But I, <laughs> but, but like I, I just I don't I'm, I'm not I'm not I'm not gonna let this slide. I'm not gonna listen again. Britt Baker. Came off injury, so she hasn't been wrestling. That's she gets a pass on this match. But if I do a deep dive into Britt Baker's history, has Britt Baker always been nice in the ring? I can I, can I honestly say that. Like, has she always been that good? Like, has she been like amazing? Where like she's like, is she with the Charlottes, the uh, the Tessa Blanchards, the Thunder Roses, and the Bianca Belairs of the world? I'm trying to figure nah. out why this is even a discussion. We know that. Nah. No, okay, all right, but I, that's what I'm saying. I, I, I'm saying, on back, like, I'm going through the, I'm, I'm knocking it out right now. Like, no, you don't, no one can say that ever again. No one ever can Brit say is, that. Brit, Brit's a part of the clique, but she's like one, two, three kid. No, no, nah, bro. She's yeah. not even know. I wouldn't even say that. Big, no, big six yeah. at No, big six she's at Brit, Brit, ba- Brit, Brit Baker and Sasha Banks are the same person. They're only good when they have amazing dance partners. That's the only time they're really effing good. No, that's they're the they both for our ego maniac. That's that's why that match came out how it came out. They didn't learn from Brett and Sean who knew how to put them egos aside and have an amazing match regardless. And and I'll, and and Mercedes Monet carried. She carried that match. And well, I can't let you carry her. And Rich Bomos. Look, man. Go ahead, Casey, my man. And Brits homos have been mid ever since Cody left. I say I said that all the time too. I've said, uh, said that. Yeah. I said that yeah. yeah. I'll admit. Let's get this thing going, bro. It's toxic, Jose. Joe Freelon. He's so toxic. <laughs> Watching Hot Take Wrestling, where everything is going to be violently spoken to and everything is going to be a lot of controversy. As an, as an amigo of mine once said, controversy breeds cash. And it's about to be a lot of controversial things said tonight, but I mean every last one of them. That's right. Every last one of them. Hold on one second, Logan. It's Big Oose, old man Logan, acknowledging. I sip on some of my soda that I'm sure somebody's spitting. <laughs> first things first, people, welcome to Hot Take Wrestling. It is your boy, the melanated tribal chief, old man Logan. I have to say, rest in peace to the master, the ruler of the world, Psycho Sid, Sid Vicious. Tim Bell salute for Sid Vicious, y'all. Um, other than that, man, welcome back, Joe. Welcome back, KG. Let's get it, baby. No chill. Hey, let's get this thing going. Come on. It's the ginger whiskey assassin, the other KG. <laughs> Hashtag y'all gotta chill. No longer whisker, Gigi Poppy. It's happy birthday, KG. Hey. First of all, thank you, gentlemen, for, uh, for that warm welcome. 
And um, I just want to say I'm going to need them to come up with a new name for that stable with Shayna Baszler, Zoe Stark, and uh, Sonya Deville because Pure Fusion Collective sounds like a 90-day juice cleanse. <laughs> oh, I can't unhear it now. <laughs> I can't unhear it. <laughs> you can't unhear it. I, 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 was, I was good with the stud line, but, you know, I'm, I'm just going to digress from that. That was about, about, about it should be called stud, but he's like, never mind. Right. Stud level's found me. I'll sound stud line. Hold on. Here we go. Let's do this one more. And now, your wise man. No chill with Phil. Hashtag MM99. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. Yeah, I know. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, my name is Phil Meyer Sr., a.k.a. Can't Knock It, the Great One. No chill with Phil, the practicing polygamist, the voice of violence on the indie circuit, the two-time, two-time child support slayer. Back <laughs> at it again like Cook Crack, Eminem and M, the minister of mayhem and madness. I know. I know. You want a car? Yeah. Okay, but give me a second. And I am joined by my right hand. Why up? Hits her boy! Phil Myers! Why he hit his chest so hard? Man, he, 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 he maybe no chill in the boys that. All right. <laughs> the crew is ready. There, now, the whole the whole no first. chill. First things first. Gotta team no chill. We celebrating two birthdays and hot takes. Happy birthday, yes, KG. And happy birthday to the mutant baby right here. Miles Charles Xavier. Us Virgos is Virgo, y'all. We is Virgo. We is Virgo. Happy birthday. Say happy birthday. No, take it out. Say happy birthday. Yeah. How old are you? How old are you? You like, yeah. Three? (laughs) Yeah, there we go. Big three. Big three. Yes, sir. Also, also. I just celebrated my 41st birthday this past Sunday on the 25th, man. Hey. So if you got something, if you got a little something. Hold on. Room, hold on. Put it up. Yeah. I need you to put it up. Salute so to y'all. My brothers, my brothers, my brothers. Hey, salute, 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 fellas. First things first, rest peace out the field. It's Virgo season, baby. It's Virgo uh, season. I don't have any uh, beverages to toast up. I will toast up to you. I will not toast up to the guy that has the same birthday as you, though. His initials are VKM. Uh, he got canceled That's fine. multiple Vincent times. Can't it, man. It's fine. It's fine. No, you can't have none of it. No, you can't have none of it. Last but not least, y'all. I think these two brothers right here, KG. Yeah. You want a cracker? Okay, here, go get a cracker. Maybe no cheer was ready to his promo. Right. <laughs> hey, man, <laughs> I got to give a shout out to a fallen homie, one of my best, closest friends that passed many, many years ago. Today will be his birthday as well. He would have been 42. Big Kev, I love you, bro. Gone but never forgotten. I salute you, sir. Definitely a part of the Wolf Pack, man, forever. Salute, 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 Big Kev. We back like the crack in the 80s, y'all. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. He feeling it. He feeling All right, Joe. I died. I died I'm early there. Hey, I'm going to need y'all the, to get the Murlock, The Murlock got you coughing like that? No, I'm I'm, I, I'm old. That's all it is. All right. The Murlock. I'm going to need y'all to get y'all syringes out. Get that hair on ready. Get that. No, we're not doing that. We're not. No, we're not. We're not doing that. We're not doing that. What we're you mean? Yeah, I, 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 don't, I, don't know, I don't know if we can say that, wise man. I don't know. We draw the line. Draw the line of Coca Cola. Uh, right. Coca Cola. Um, <laughs> right. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know what you talking about, man. Only time I've been there, any drugs has been, you know, the OTC. I ain't talking about the river tribes. You gonna throw over the counter? Listen. <laughs> tonight, tonight we on the yellow over the river. Counter. Tonight we on the Doozy Express. 
<laughs> the douche. What the fuck? <laughs> All right. Yeah. yeah. Listen. As you can see, that, uh, main event. <laughs> oh, maybe. <laughs> as you can see, we are five deep. Okay. The next guy that I'm going to introduce is my brother, a touring superstar, a singing superstar, an instrumentalist, and one of the best drummers in the world, bro. Don't say nothing. Hold on. I got to do something real special because this for you. This is one of the goats, swag guys. Anywhere you can catch me in Chicago, this is one of the goats right here. You want to check him out. All social media websites. Don is D-O-N-I dollar sign. This is that guy. Out everywhere right now. Let's do this, man. Come on. Let's do this. Things for certain, two things for sure, man. That that was a beautiful intro, man. Like, hey, well done, man. I'm so hey, that was that actually made me a little humble. You know, this is actually one of my first podcasts that I was on. Um, I'm about wrestling, something that I actually loved growing up. Always, always got you, my boy. Always got you. Hey, definitely really happy to be here, man. You know, <sighs> shout out to all Guys, the ones, welcome to the show. Welcome to the show. I appreciate you. Pleasure to be here. <laughs> Pleasure to be here, man. <laughs> always, bro, always, yeah, yeah. bro. Yeah, this one of the coldest, bro. This, this probably like, as a musician, this, this probably one of the coldest dudes out there that either everyone knows about or people just discovering because he's just really that good. Um, I, I would say that he's made my life easier, being able to be in a certain space, like, and being able to sing a certain like every event that I have him on, I'm good on. I don't worry about nobody else. Cause, you know, he always gonna be able to get people right or get them together because he know his music he know his cadence he know his pattern he know what he gonna do i'm always good so he, this is my so guy he clutch. Clutch. Yeah, he's, he's, yeah yeah if i had if i had to compare if i had to compare him to a wrestler in terms of how i do it he kurt angle he, he's like that that's quite the compliment he, oh he's, 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 he's nice he nice he's yeah. good. <laughs> You say, hey, hey, I think it might be Perk Angle because I yeah. think I think I'm a firecracker <laughs> on drums. I ain't gonna lie. Like if, if you see me play drums, you gonna be like, you have a lot of energy. Like so many people tell me I got a lot of energy. So look, bro, I ain't gonna hold you. That that clip, that, that clip made event I had in there. It looked like you was getting to it on them drums. <laughs> so, yeah. it, wait, it don't That's do no. Listen, is. if y'all get a chance coming to the basement when we both on, uh, our, our, as I register see both, bro, it's crazy. It's a wrap. Oh, yeah. Like it's. I strongly suggest if you ever get a chance, just want to see some live music in Chicago with with a with a crowd that's crazy as ever, just like us. I strongly suggest you do it. Yeah, we gonna have to make that happen. We gonna have to make it happen. KG, you've been up there before, right? Yeah, I went up there a few years ago. Actually, it was was pretty dope sets. Um, Very similar to some of the stuff uh, Joe did at Blue Chip, but uh, more so professional in terms of just the structure of everything and the setup with the crowd not necessarily the bands always fire it's uh reminded me of his wedding set that he did in four wins in terms of just the vibe and everything because you know you know blue chip there might have been some uh perks that hurts out there on the dance floor so you know <laughs> hey hey i tell you i tell you like that the last wedding i did they had their shirts off they were swinging around they, i said oh okay this is like that okay mm-hmm. Last time we had, I think last time we had dudes taking their shirts off. It was a chick. It was four chicks that were all getting married, all on stage at the same time for Pony. It was, bro. It was, it was wild. Like it wasn't. If 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 he's on the set, it's gonna get it's gonna get loose. Like because because oh, yeah. sure. he sings too, so he played drums. He sings too. So that means now you got like a full vibe of like R and B, pop, rock, hip hop, because he does he does it all, bro. He really does it all. He, he I got some all. Anderson Pack type shit. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Man, he's nice. yeah. He's fucking nice. He fucking nice, bro. He's fucking nice. All right, let's get this wrestling shit right fast. KG, you up? Let me just set you up right fast, bro. We get and now. And now your week in review. So Bronson Reed just gonna keep destroying cars now and uh, just, <laughs> just, just splashing on people for no reason. Just, just 
just throwing his whole body weight around. Uh, that's that's one thing. That, uh, Dom beat his dad again. I, I don't know what that's about. Now all of a sudden he can he can win matches against his dad. Uh, there's that. Uh, like I said, we got the 90 J Juice Cleanse. They lost on uh, Money to Damage Control. <laughs> 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 All jokes aside, I'm really looking oh forward to this rematch with Red Yorton and Gunther at Bash in Berlin, which is coming up. And did I get a chance to catch all in a lot of that? I was only looking forward to a couple matches on that card. I'm not going to lie. I was really looking forward to Osprey and MJF, the sequel. I did not get a chance to watch it. I did see the, see the ending, which had to happen, as with the disrespectful stuff MJF was saying towards Osprey, talking about, yeah, I know your, your first child isn't biologically yours. You know, after I talked to your wife, your second child might not be either. I was like, whoa, all right, bro. You, you took that, uh, you know, crossed that line, didn't you? Obviously, the Brian Danielson and Swerve match I was looking forward to. No, I am not from Washington like they are in Darby Allen. I'm just a fan of wrestling. Um, I didn't get a chance to watch it. Once again, saw the ending. Looked like a hell of a battle went down. Uh, they continued that. They announced tonight Swerve is actually going to face Heyman in a steel cage. It's all out. Looking forward to that for sure. Uh, I feel like that's been the best feud of the last year, in my opinion, in wrestling. Wow. Hey, they going from feud to feud. Uh, well, because he kind of cost Swerve, though. If you think about it, he distracted him. I don't know if you saw the end of the other match. He, he, he distracted Swerve. Security escorted Hangman out. He turned around, got hit with the Busaco knee. He didn't get pinned off that, but that was kind of the turning point at the end of that match because then it kind of set up a, for another running knee. And then, you know, Swerve ended up tapping out after that. Um, unfortunately, uh, Trungle Boy is getting pushed. <sighs> This is all in with such a high. That's such a. It's like. Hinder Jungle Boy. No, oh, Hinder, ju- Hinder Jungle Boy. <laughs> 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 nah, stop that shit. Fuck that shit all together. Go ahead, go ahead Casey, my bad. I, I don't know how he's being pushed at this point. Maybe it's because other people are injured and maybe he's getting that spot and they're just putting him in there by default. I have no clue whatsoever what they're doing with that with that angle from a standpoint that I get Okada. They want maybe if they want to keep him. I'm like, okay, so you can't say he's because he already has a championship. Give me Okada and Danielson three any day of the week before you give me Jungle Boy and Brian Danielson it all out. Especially because unless this is the one time where they're gonna let that feud with Hangman and Swerve main event, because they have enough heat on them. Well, that could arguably should be the main event to closer at all out, in my opinion. Uh, Friday Night SmackDown, Jacob Fatu had to relinquish the tag titles because uh, he's in a walking boot. This man in a walking boot looks more athletic than 75% of the roster. I don't know how. Uh, just, <laughs> so I predicted before that this is going to lead to a War Games match between the OG Bloodline and the New Bloodline which should be probably the best War Games match. And I don't know when, uh, just not even just based on the storyline, but uh, even the match itself. But the storyline tell them for sure that they're doing. I'm um, trying to see how they incorporate Sammy. And obviously Jimmy has a tie-in because he's still signed to the SmackDown roster. Uh, so there's, that's how he's that tie-in. So he's probably going to be the first person that helps Roman. Uh, so maybe they cause Jay the Intercontinental Championship at a live event. So it's obviously all hands on deck at the premium live events. Therefore, you could have them interfere if Jay wins this tournament to face Bron, uh, to face uh, Bron Breaker, uh, Sammy, I don't know what the tie-in would be. The, the other possibility is when Sammy comes back on TV, technically they should be the number one contenders to the tag titles uh, because they did beat Finn Balor and JD McDonough in a non-title match, of, like maybe two, three weeks going raw. So you could tie them in there, and maybe the bloodline costs them there, and that's how you get them tied in. Because somebody pointed out Jay had the uh, red hair dye in the back of his hair, so that kind of Hinting at that, uh, my you only hear thing a is goat yelling in the background. Yeah, I hear something. I thought I thought that was I thought that was your baby. I ain't gonna hold you. I thought that was your baby. <laughs> oh yeah, no, it probably might be one of my nephews. Yeah, uh, see, yeah, oh, yeah, there you go. Uh, I thought that was a goat. <laughs> that was a what? <laughs> Yo, turn your volume up a little bit. Nah, you said you thought it was. You said you thought it was Wait, a goat. Phil, you. Phil, 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 you, yep, turn your volume up just a little bit. My volume is up. Oh. I thought, uh, I thought Jay looked a lot smoother too in that tag, that six-woman tag match, because, you know, 
obviously when they lost the title, she was out there botching kind of bad, but she, I think all of her spots looked extremely crisp on Friday night on SmackDown. Uh, they're also hinting at the Street Profits and DIY versus the New Bloodline, so that's going to be a placeholder, so I don't know. It's not going to, they could announce that for Bash at Berlin, potentially, um, because none of the four of them have anything to do, as far as I know. It could be a last random match just thrown on the card. Uh, I don't know if I missed any thing of importance if you gentlemen want to bring up not really not really i think we covered all bases i was gonna I say yeah he bases. touched on he touched on all the <laughs> yeah. yeah okay i i'll go there uh i think all in was the stupidest shit ever let me explain why <laughs> daniel bryan first of all they shouldn't have took the belt off swear that quick i'm just putting that out there but I mean, dang! Like, <laughs> if I, am I not mistaken? Didn't Daniel Bryan just announce that he got to have neck surgery tonight? Yeah, he did. So he announced that, but right after, he's basically saying he's, he's delaying the inevitable in a sense. But right after that, they announced that Jack Perry is getting a title shot against him and all out. What was the point? I don't. He had to touch it before. I mean, like, legit, legit, legit. What was the point? What was the I point don't. I couldn't. Elsewhere? I can't tell you anything that goes on that makes sense a lot of the times in AEW. I can't tell you why Jack Perry's near the top of the card. I can't tell you why Britt Baker's getting pushed over certain talents that they have on the roster. I. It, it, My boy is in the. I can't trouble. tell you. I can't tell you. I can't tell you why the Young Bucks. Or got the tag title right now. They do. They're. I'm sorry. They might have been amazing on the Indies with their wrestling. They're cringe, at best. I cannot stand the Young Bucks. No matter what you ready? position, well, no matter what position they are in, character wise, they're they're cringe. I I like Hangman. They have they have I, I feel like they just. I feel like they just had the same gimmick since they first came in. Like and they just never really switch their gimmick, so it's kind of too late to really kind of get on a whole new gimmick, so it's just not going to work. I can't believe the guns have won me over personality-wise than before the Young Bucks have. I used to hate the guns. Billy's kids, I'm not going to lie. They <laughs> they won me over more than the Young Bucks, and that's saying something. I used to watch them during the pandemic, and I was like, are they just signed because they're Billy's kids? And they've grown on me more than the Young Bucks have. This is no, they I don't I can't name a single person being pushed. The most interesting thing they have is literally swerve and hangman. That's Joe about like it. He getting ready to have a damn conniption, Joe. You're Smith, not Joe. you you you're not you're not ready for the new corporation. <sighs> <laughs> you're not ready for that? You're not ready for Shane to come and be in that Vince role? You're not ready for John Moxley to be Triple H? You're not ready for the young bucks. <laughs> first, off, first off, first off, number one. You're not, hold on, hold on, hold on. Mo- let me finish. I ain't finished. I ain't finished. Who's? I'm trying to remember who's the uh, Ken Shamrock was IC champ back then, right? You you know you got Jack Perry there as a, a TNT champion. That's like the IC title. You ain't feeling it. Everybody has a price. <laughs> when it happens, when it I happens, <laughs> I told. So Mercedes Monet is already champion. Y'all not ready for this corporation? Y'all not AEW corporation? <laughs> bro, it's no yeah. That's it's, what's it's what you get. right now, bro. I'm What's sorry. up? That's really it's what crazy. it is. You kind of hit it spot on in terms of <laughs> what they're doing and how they're pushed because they already said she's pulling the strings and getting people suspended, even though we know what that was about. But um, I've been trying to watch it again just, just to, uh, you know, we're wrestling podcast and although we primarily watch WWE I just kind of you know want to throw my two cents in for AEW <laughs> I love watching it's, real Osprey's matches two cents. I love watching real Osprey's matches uh I will I'll take that back that stuff him, him and MJF has been pretty good even though that's been by accident because you know MJF's first few was clearly supposed to be against Adam Cole but I can't nitpick that much I will say I've been enjoying that for you um, I think I would have waited. I would have pulled that out and got a trilogy 
I wouldn't have gone straight to Pac, and I would that would have been my Wembley match because that would have went more in Wembley to the Wim to the uh, UK fans. Pac and Osprey there, I would have saved Osprey and MJF for all out. But that's just me. I don't know. I don't want to go dominate. Go ahead. What uh? No, what happened no, with no, Jay no, Lethal? No. Where's Jay Lethal at? Jay Lethal's at Ring of Honor. Uh, he was just on uh, Dynamite last week or two weeks ago. He lost to Hangman because uh, that Hangman's been starting with everybody in a sense because he's in a sense losing his mind over the swear thing. That's so, kind of so, what that. So Hangman Jay, just so, that dude now, right? Like Hangman no, Hangman has been trash. Hangman he's, has been trash. My opinion, he's more interested now than he was when he had his championship run. I think by far. He's actually showing personality. I didn't, I thought he was just... I was more interested when they were try, starting trying to do the downward spiral thing initially when FTR first came in. Because uh, they were saying that, like, hey, man, had a drinking problem. He was, t- he was not... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no. That was what I was... When they were going with that, <laughs> that's what I was saying. They, when they were going in that, I was interested. Then they put the title on him. He kind of got bland. It's and then now I think he's been way more interesting with this thing. That was what, That was when Matt Hardy was um, um, the delete guy. Yeah, when, when they, they had, that, what was that a baseball stadium they fought at? Yeah, stadium yeah. stampede. Was sitting at the bar like this. <laughs> <laughs> so you don't like Stone Cold Adam Page? Uh, come on now. Hi guys. Hi. Hi. Um hi. Um I'm gonna say something and, 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 and I don't I don't care how you guys take it. All in was better than SummerSlam. I didn't no watch way. it all the way through and it's not I couldn't it's not though. it's not close. It's not close at all. It's not even close in any shape, fashion, or form. The highlight of SummerSlam is what, fellas? Roman Reigns comes back. Does anybody remember? Does anybody remember that Solo Sokoa Cody Rose match? No. Nope. Does anybody remember uh, the match with uh, um, Damian Priest and Gunther besides? No, that, that was that was a good match though. It was a good match. It was, was a good match. But does that, that does that does that does does that match overshadow any of those matches at SummerSlam overshadow all of it? I'll answer it for you. Yes. You don't need to do it. You don't need to think about it. Yes. I got you already. We brothers. No, not yes. one of them. Not yes. one of them. It overshadowed yes. Ricochet's return. Ricochet. First off, Ricochet's return was trash. I don't care. Anybody. <laughs> that return was trash. He did the same moves he did at NXT when they did. No, mm-hmm. seriously. Remember the Amer- the North American ladder match? Same moves. Trash. It was trash. Trash. Do this. Do this Ricochet walk. lost his no, job and his girl in the same week. <laughs> he still got his girl though. He still got his girl. They 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 engaged, right? Yeah. Congrats. The fact, congrats. The fact that the fact of the matter is the following, and it, it is and it's not hard to go over, and it's not hard for us to have this discussion. In ring wise, that pay per view wins out because the memory is Daniel yeah. Bryan and Ricochet. I'm sorry, Daniel. Excuse me, Bryan Danielson and uh, Swerve. Because that match was fire. The best storyline on there was Tony Storm and Mariah May. That match was solid. It's only the beginning of this. Is the only beginning of a trilogy. The Vlog Villa storyline. Yep. No, it's not a Vlog Villa. Yeah, you said it. You said it. Yeah. Yeah, I got you to say it. Yeah. Continue. MJF. MJF versus Will Ospreay is a clinic for in ring work. Regardless, that was a good, that was a good match. There's no. It match. was. It was decent. It was decent. No, bro, stop this. Stop this. It was a, stop it was a seven this. out of ten. I will give it a seven stop. out of ten. Wait, wait which stop match it. was, man? Which match which match you gave a seven out of ten? Um 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 Osprey and MJF. Okay. So that, that that's 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 crazy that's work. A seven bro. out of ten, that's bro. That's crazy work. The ladder match was the ladder match was wild as ever. As wild as ever. With a bunch of talent in that ladder match or whatever. The pre show with Willow, Chris Statlander, um, and even what's the name? That was fire in the first place. Jamie Cause Hater's was, back. Because it was Willow. Because it's Willow. At that, but yeah, bro. But listen, the highlights of SummerSlam. Roman Reigns comes back. Bailey power bombs Nia Jax. Finn Balor turns on Damian Priest. Not one of those things overshadows the work that All In and AW did. Everybody complains Ro- about Roman's AW not having stolen. Roman's you said what? Turn, bro. 
Roman's return, bro. That is the only thing good about bro. But you're you telling just said me none of them. You in a wrestling, in a rest. Hold on, hold on. In a re, hold on. In a wrestling, in a wrestling pay per view, one man returns and that makes the pay per view. No, that's yes. wild. That's crazy. I wouldn't say that made the pay per view. Hmm. That's the only thing. We, no, hold we on, knew Roman was bro, coming bro, back argument, at some at some point. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. That's crazy work to no, say that you. one. Oh, no, no, no. I, I, I was... didn't even get the finish. Was... No, finish, finish. Whoa, pause. The narrative that hey, someone yo. who was on vacation coming back is the highlight of your pay-per-view is crazy. It's trash. It's terrible. Not one match on there. Y'all will go back and watch. Not one. Yeah. Damien Brown. What match? You would oh, what match? What match? What you okay? Logan Paul and LA Knight night uh, LA Knight match again? No, I'm Stop serious. Me, no, Nia Jax and Bailey than... match decent. Like, what do we what, like? Did you did you get is, okay? Part? Is Logan Paul and Lo, is Logan Paul and LA Knight better than MJF and Will Ospreay? Yes or no? Yes. Oh my God! Nope, not doing it. I'm on I don't know if I'll say that, but I will say that Logan Paul holding the U.S. title definitely made that title relevant again. You I disagree. I, I you disagree. Care, you, you care about the mid card uh, titles now. Sammy made the IC title matter. Logan Paul, all that heat, him going around everywhere, not just on 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 WWE television, but doing his podcast, doing his stuff on social media, holding that title, grabbing heat. Yeah, that made us. We couldn't wait for LA Knight to win the title, uh, and not just mm-hmm. and and take that one off of him specifically, but, yep. but LA Knight is wow. long to do a title run. I don't think that makes a title. I don't think that makes a title uh, relevant just because you want to see somebody else lose it. Like I think you no, no, no. Title... I'm not saying I'm not saying because he lost it. I'm just saying him bringing relevance. He brought relevance to listen, bro. The heavyweight championship at one point in time was the IC title. Like with SmackDown, when first went to Fridays, like. Yeah, that, that was a second rate title. That was not the title. When John Cena had the WWE championship, that was the championship. Vince made that the heavyweight championship that like it was it was overthought. <laughs> JBL. <laughs> JBL was talking about Mexicans at that time. So <laughs> I see why. <laughs> hey, but, hey, I'm glad, I'm glad, hey, JBL I'm was wilding in those three. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm glad you tuned in, bro, because I was gonna ask you, do you agree with Joe's sentiments about all in versus SummerSlam. Like, do you agree that All In was better, or do you think SummerSlam was better? Top to bottom, top to bottom, I gotta give it to SummerSlam only because SummerSlam was free flowing. Like, I could literally say all the matches were decent. Not a uh 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 uh. Sorry, I don't mean to call it Sasha Banks now, but yeah, sure. <laughs> <laughs> They match is kind of like uneven, and everybody down there has the same opinion. So, with me taking that into, I'm just like, ah, I gotta get the edge to SummerSlam because me as me wanting to be entertained for sure. Of course, I want to go to the entertainment route. However, right. in ring work, in ring work, you definitely gotta give it to AEW. Like, and, and yeah, yeah, they got they got Daniel Bryan breaking his neck again. So <laughs> Daniel Bryan broke his own neck. Like what <laughs> I want to know where that spot happened. Brian. Like I gotta go back and watch that match. I I I, I see everybody he's gotten a lot of heat and as a result of him defeating Swerve, who a lot of people feel like Swerve was just hitting his stride as champion. Yes. Um yes. So, that was a stupid move. That was a stupid move. Go ahead, expand on something, wise man. Like like okay. Bro, Brian Danielson or Daniel, whatever the hell his name is in AEW, is like Derrick Rose in the Bull. Like Derrick Rose on the Knicks. <laughs> Crack baby body. Like, <laughs> like, bro, like. Mr. Glass. <laughs> Joe over there, yes, flabbergasted. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> Him being the champion. Brian Daniel Bryanson being the champion, the AEW World Heavyweight Champion, is Glass Joe being the final boss in Mike Tyson's punch out. 
Wow. Wow. <laughs> like, bro, like, come on, dude. The dude is fragile. Fragile. This isn't the yes movement. This is the fish oil pill movement. Like, bro. <laughs> hey, what, yo. What, what are we doing? Hey, yo. What are we doing? <laughs> hey, yo. What are we doing? Y'all hey, yeah. let me know y'all finished, man. Y'all let me know y'all finished. <laughs> you, you and your nose ring can take a moment to relax. <laughs> <laughs> this is listen, not the Daniel listen, Bryan listen, of yesterday. Listen. This is not the Daniel Bryan that defeated Batista, Triple H. This is not the Yes Movement Daniel Bryan. This is... Who was the dude that got traded from um, the Green Bay Vikings to to the uh, the Minnesota Packers and got hurt? That oh, first? Brett Favre. He didn't get traded. He didn't no, get no, traded. Not, 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 not Brett Favre. Who was the other dude? Oh, you're talking about Aaron Rodgers. And yes. Rodgers went to the New yes. York Jets. He went to the Jets. To the New York Jets. <laughs> okay, what, whoever, whatever. What the hell? <laughs> he still went from the Green Bay Vikings to the New York <laughs> Jets. And game one don't, got don't, knocked don't. out the entire <laughs> season. Bro, you're not good. You're not good. Oh, you're not God. that good. You're not who you used to be. We all, hey, okay, we all love Shawn Michaels. We all love Shawn Michaels. Shawn Michaels getting in the ring now will be a detriment to him. Why? Because Shawn Michaels now is not the heartbreak kid that we're used to seeing. Brian Danielson now is not the Daniel Bryan that we're used to seeing. They switched his, they gave his last name the first name and first name the last name. And it made him whack. <laughs> it took his superpower. <laughs> let me know. Let me know. Let me know when y'all finish. Let me know. When go, go ahead. Go ahead. Okay. Go ahead, okay. Because on this same go podcast, ahead, on the same podcast, when Brian Danielson went against Kenny Omega, it was one of the greatest matches you've ever seen in your life. When Brian Danielson went against Hangman and Page, oh, it was one of the greatest matches I've ever seen. Or whatever. When Brian Danielson went, all these things, y'all were losing y'all mind over Brian Danielson just coming back and having banger after banger after banger. Just like Shawn Michaels. And don't nod your head that you didn't say it because it's on video of you saying it. We've Literally. never said and said, oh, Daniel Bryan's and yes, yes. You, you, you guys, you guys, you guys <laughs> kill me with it. This man went a year and a half without having any match being lower than very good. And now we're saying, oh, his neck hurt. Now, now I'm I fragile. And this You're saying you my, guys, my neck, crazy my work. Neck, my back. <laughs> You're saying you guys, the wise man gave his opinion main event, and he's entitled to that, okay? But much like I said, it's, it's happening as a result of people being frustrated and upset about Swerve losing the title. It's about that more than anything from what I've seen. But where where is, where is, where, where is Russell Dream, guys? Where is Russell Dream? In Tacoma, Washington, Swerve's hometown. Obviously, he's going back to the title. But when Shawn Michaels had his last little run at being a full-time star for a little bit, he held that title for a little bit for a month. Brown tights, elimination chamber, Shawn Michaels held the title for a little while. And no one batted an eye. Brian Danielson beat Swerve Strickland, who's going to win the title again because now he is a pillar in AEW. And that's what we're upset about. We're not talking about how they put on a banger, how they evoke emotion from it an England crowd. It wasn't a banger. My opinion. Right. Is first first off, first off, first off, I'm not going to take. I'm not. I'm not. Okay, you know what, Donis, give me yeah. your top three wrestling matches of all time. Of oh, all time. All time. Oh yeah. Okay. I'm gonna go Taker Shaw 25. Okay. I'm gonna go Angle uh Angle Michaels at 21 or wait 21. Yeah. And 
I think I'm uh I'm uh, I'm gonna go indie for the last one. I'm gonna go uh Kenny Omega, AJ Styles. Okay. Uh, two. two. Okay. If you ask, if you ask, no chill. His top three matches is Hogan versus Goldberg at the Georgia Dome. It's gonna wow. be Hogan versus Giant at WrestleMania three. It's gonna be wow. because if you ask no chill anything about matches, he twists his mind and change him up every time because he's not consistent. Because every time you ask no chill with the question about his wrestling takes, he changes it. It's the same person that said CM Punk was the was the Jesus Christ of wrestling. Did he say yes. that? Yes, I did say that. Oh. I did say that. So here, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Since you want to throw shots, let me address, let me address the elephant in the room. This is G Unit versus Dipset right now. You have never heard me. You have never heard me. You have heard me say some wild shit. You ain't never heard me sit and say, Hogan versus Goldberg was one of the greatest. You ain't never heard me. Bro, you never heard me. I lied. I made that up. Let's you have to make lies. Let's me know that my opinion intimidates you, Jehoshaphat. <laughs> Oh my God! Oh. Nah, he never said that. Now, I made that up. hold up. Now, that. in regards to consistency, Joe, you did make a good point. Do my matches normally change? They do. You know why? I think it's everybody. You know why? Because there's been so many amazing fucking matches. Mm. I'm, hey, depending on how the liquor hit, I might sit and say Flair versus Steamboat was one of the greatest matches. Pick a match. I might say Ron Simmons versus Doom when he won a title was one of the greatest matches ever. Pick a match. I might sit and say I might sit and say Undertaker versus Batista. Dare to say was a better match than Shawn Michaels and Undertaker. I could go there. I mm-hmm. say a lot. Ooh, of I, don't, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Versus Goldberg. Crazy you might, bro. He's actually, a racist. I mean, bro, I might. Right, Terry, Terry Belay, Terry, Terry Belay is jackass. He's racist. My, my <laughs> point is, my point is, he never said anything for the record. For the record, so anybody watching, like everybody in this live right now, no chill with Phil never said that Hogan versus Goldberg was one of his. He never said that. I'm telling yeah, you now, absolutely. on every camera, on every angle, he never said that. I made that up. It was, it was satire. He never said. That. My <laughs> point is, my point is. We have all sat in the awe of Brian Danielson over this past year and a half with having great matches at AEW. Even when we stopped watching it, we saw highlights. We saw all the other things that he had, match after match, there was great matches or whatever. Everybody still talks about the Royal Osprey match. Everybody still talks about the Kenny Omega match. Everybody still talks about the Hangman Page match. Everyone still talks about every match that he's got an opportunity to be a part of because, bro, the, oh, oh, here we go. And then this guy, the, the room, the room, <laughs> the room got a little bigger. The room got a little bigger. You can't say bigger or not into a room. Pause. 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 Hold on one second. Hold on one second. <laughs> no diddy. No diddy. Let me give you an intro. Hold on one second, bro. OMG, it's Clutch Uso, king in a black robe. Ill will, hashtag high takes king. Thank you for being here, man. Please talk to your brother. Your brother is tripping. I end up in a sticky situation, so uh, I'm trying to brush this off. All right, brother. Now this is this is what's going. It's not even a heated round table yet. Well, my thing is, if it wasn't going to be Danielson, who was it going to be? No, only other lot. The only lousy, lousy person. Well, no, he had to lose the title eventually. He's because he was. Everybody got okay. I was, I was let me, thinking, hold Darby. Hold let me say this. I'm sorry, my bad. I was, no, I was gonna agree. I was gonna throw something with Logan said because if it wasn't him, it was gonna be either Hangman or Darby. That's hold on one second. Hold, it made logical sense. Me, hold on one second. I'm sorry for interrupting. I'm sorry for interrupting. I apologize. I'll get right back to you, KG. Listen, no chill with Phil shout out someone who had a birthday, <laughs> but this young lady below, Chrissy Tina, her birthday is actually day two. Cups up for Christina. Happy birthday for her. 
Virgo season in full effect. Hey, Virgo, hey, us Virgo, we Virgoing the fuck out of this one, boy. It was a lot of people fucking in the season. Happy birthday, Chrissy. Happy birthday, Chrissy. Happy birthday. All right, now listen. Go ahead, go ahead, KG. There was a lot of people coming in December. Do y'all realize that? Yeah. It's Christmas, bro. Right. Christmas, yeah. and, it's, and it's cold. And it's, it's, it's you gonna blame it on Jolly Old Saint Nick? No, nah, they was just being nasty. Yeah, hey, bro, like, <laughs> wait, Mary. And and actually, that would be to be to be actually Show more accurate. To be more accurate, then that was been as a time of Thanksgiving, actually. Do the math. No. Yeah. December, January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August. Nine months. So after the dressing, props was ready. So it's 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 so no, he's right. January, February, March. Yeah. Yeah. Thirty six to forty weeks. Yeah. Well, yeah, but yeah, but I'm saying like I think <laughs> Christmas is probably well it depends. No, they was, probably, they it's was December. Fucking December. They was fucking. Well, no, because oh, they was, but you show in December because sometimes you got to give her the dick as a present, bro. Well, hey. <laughs> Yeah. Well, hey. Hey. no chill, hey. no chill is kind of right to the degree though, because I forgot, I forgot. I forgot. <laughs> <laughs> in a box. <laughs> My nigga in a box. <laughs> to a degree, actually. You just saying dick in the box. No, 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 no. I was gonna say to a, I was gonna say you a two degree you're correct. Technically, I think it ends in uh, I think Virgo season ends on September 21st. So technically, you're kind of right. I forgot. It's, it starts at the end of August, like the second to last week of August. You know, all the way to- and it's a lot of factors to it. You yeah, but um, yeah. Whoa, but, what's going on in the background? No, but like all, but like okay, all right. No, no, Clutch. No, I'll wait, ask no, you. Wait. Then let KG finish his point. Wait, wait. No, that was it. That, that, that was just kind of close on Logan said maybe the Arby's. You know, the other logical option besides Hangman is take the title off for us. Where and it's I don't know, people would. Well, I mean, just to? just in terms of. Continuity with the storyline. They were already hinting at potentially Swerve and Dar and Darby at uh because Darby has a guaranteed title match at Grand Slam. And they were already mm-hmm. hinting that they still have history that they need to address when mm-hmm. they're on team AEW for blood and guts. So mm-hmm. that's what I was getting at. The swerve and hangman thing goes without saying because hangman been losing his damn mind and that and it's not just because of that mustache. <laughs> can, can I just ask what? a simple question? Hold on, let me ask question. Let me ask a question. You can go. Clutch was all in better than SummerSlam. <laughs> that they say everything. <laughs> oh, okay. Um, I can't. I let him talk. Okay. How do I answer this? Um, y'all know how I am about results and stuff. And. I ain't gonna lie. I think Ali got SummerSlam by like a small margin, but they got him. I'm only saying that basically in terms of like, honestly, more so mass quality than anything else. I mean, let's be real with ourselves. We knew when the main event came how that was gonna play out before the show started, right? Mm-hmm. Can't really say the same about the main event of Ali. Um, in my personal opinion, I feel like the rivalry between Swerve and um, Brian should have been more than just one match. You make it one match, it almost comes predictable in its own way, but I was almost hoping that Tony Khan could have pulled a Swerve, no pun intended, and what did he do? He set up Birdie and Bree to be there to see that, and it really didn't have to be him so soon. That seemed too soon for, for Daniel right now, seriously. Like seriously. Okay. I think it's honestly gonna be a short window for this run, especially if he gotta have neck surgery for real. Uh I think it all comes back to because all of them are from Washington, right? Like Swerve's from Seattle, Darby's from Seattle, right? Yeah. Darby's from yeah. Seattle, Swerve's from Tacoma, Brian Daniels. Daniel from um, Aberdeen, Aberdeen Washington. Yeah. Okay, so they yeah. Like KG said, Darby has a guaranteed championship match. Swerve is guaranteed a rematch. You had a triple threat match at the event that's taking place in Washington. He can gracefully bow out right there. Swerve can either gain, regain the title 
or Darby can grab the title at that moment in time. Because okay. Darby has been getting pushed simultaneously in this same time. Hey, yo, where... nephew said good night. Good night, buddy. Nephew. I was giving you peace uh, sign. All right, so yes, you. sir. So Darby, Darby definitely been getting uh, pushed at the same time as Swerve. Swerve just was champion. So I could definitely see it going either way with that. And that way, Daniel Bryan said, get to do it right, get to do it at home. You know what I'm saying? Tell the people, you know, God bless you, thank you, and good night. Well, my problem, though, with TK is now you have, you also have Christian has a future world title shot now. So I don't even know where that fits in. I don't think Christian deserves that at all. I don't he either. Is 55. No, he don't need that <laughs> at all. <laughs> he was cooking that one. He's second best he team was, on the he was, yeah, but he just, Christian, no, no, no. He's, he's must see TV in a way. He, he is, but hear us out. At least, at least hear me out. I can't speak, I can't speak for our guests, but what I was saying is he already has got his title shot. He don't, why, why is he getting another one right, right away again? If he, if he wasn't the champion, like I see the champion getting his rematch. I get that. He need to move on. He was just trio champion right after he was TNT champion for damn near what a year he was cooking. Don't, do not get me wrong, but He's created what did TK say? I'm not gonna make the same mistakes WCW did. Well, your EVPs are all over the products, like the NWO. You pushing old dudes, Edge and Christian. Kind of, as soon as they come through the door, basically, when the Christian was a little bit slower of a build because they kind of put him with Jack Perry out, putting title Adam Copeland right in the title picture. No matter if it's a mid card, uh, like I said, every time you look up. Jeff Jarrett getting title shots. Jeff Jarrett's in the main event of Dynamite. <laughs> Jeff Jarrett should be retired. <laughs> yeah, don't get me wrong. Brian Danielson carrying to a hell of a match. That was actually a good match. But why is Jeff Jarrett in the main event on your prime show? In 2024, kids think this is say the ass inside and Jeff Jarrett should not be on my TV. Go ahead, Phil. Still using that guitar, still doing so, the same shit. So, okay. Just- all of us are all wrestling aficionados in our own way, from shape, form, fashion. We all have our own opinions. Be it all in better than SummerSlam, SummerSlam better than all in. Just hear me on this. Wise man, right there where you at, stay right there because you sound the loudest right there. So continue. Answer me this What the fuck happened to continuity? What the fuck happened to content? What happened to sensible storylines? What happened to that? AEW and KG was KG, you was cooking, bro. I gotta call you Chef Boy RKG because he was cooking. Make some of this shit make sense. It's fucking stupid, which is why AEW is in the position it's in now. The hands down best world heavyweight champion you guys have ever had y'all take the belt off of him after what three months he had it for um, he had it for close to six i think okay why whether it was a year why swerve is the best things they got going for them right now yeah why because it because they could have took their time hold up hold up the shit that they're doing now doesn't make any sense it doesn't make any sense, which is why when I dog AEW, the product is whitewashed. It makes no sense. It's all over the place. You can literally be a WWE alumni and then now come in and win the title. Five bucks say hell, Ricochet win it in the next two, three weeks. What the fuck would be the point of that? Like Donis was just talking about with Jericho and some of the other stuff. Yeah, okay, I get it. Christian is the best heel they got right now. Yes, they got some veterans that know what they're doing. They're moving and grooving. They're shaking and baking. How the hell is that developing your product? Somebody getting whooping at, at, at somebody else. But how is that yeah, my bad. product? It's not. It's not. Let, let 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 me let let me interject because I I feel like I feel like I, I feel like 
I feel like out of everybody in here, I think I watch AEW consistently. Is that is that what can I say that? Is that okay to say? Yeah, that's fair. Okay. I say you right. and me, yeah. yeah. Okay. All right. So look, this is the thing that I'm realizing that Tony Khan does versus what Triple H does. Triple H can tell you a good story. We can agree with that. Mm-hmm. Yes. Mm-hmm. Tony Khan's writing the book. Be closer, Joe. Hold on, Joe. Hold on. Hold on. You're not. You're not coming. Yeah, you're going in and out. I am. Oh, now no. you go right there. Right there. Okay. All right. Pause. 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 All right. No, dude. Jesus. Hey, yo. No, Diddy. Jesus. No, Diddy. Hey, hey, hey. That was crazy. That was crazy. Bro. <laughs> you just said. Now you just said what happened to con. You just said what happened to continuity. Now this is what I can tell you. Swerve's been champion for close to six months. Okay. So Swerve having to battle one Christian at one point during that Iliad of him trying to get to Samoa Joe. And then also with him having to battle Hangman within that same storyline has been one thing. So they're somehow involved in that as well. You got to also remember the fact that Luchasaurus is potentially turning. How do you get Christian Luchasaurus into a violent rivalry? Obviously, by having Luchasaurus cross Christian the title, Luchasaurus going going from kill switch to Luchasaurus again. Then on top of that, you have Brian Danielson, who's been your most consistent worker, who's giving your best matches year after year after year. I'm sorry, match after match after match. Be a part of it. And this is your way of saying thank you. The same way they did to Shawn Michaels, they're doing the same thing for Brian Daniels. Now with Swerve losing the title, obviously it's a detriment to his legacy because he lost the title. Okay, but that doesn't mean that he's not going to get it back and have to hold it for a long run now. Because once Swerve gets it, now you're going to get your MJF. Now you're going to get your Swervers Ricochet. You're going to get Osprey and Swerve again. You're going to get um, Osprey and whoever, like, I'm sorry, you're going to get Swerve and whoever else there is. Tony Khan is not putting stuff together by putting it on a storyboard. He's literally writing a book. The one thing we have all complained about throughout his run is that he does things on easy mode in WWE 2K24 and GMO. We've said that over and over again. But All In was proof that everybody is connected in some shape, fashion, or form to that AEW World Heavyweight Championship. Every single person that interrupted that World Heavyweight Championship match has either gotten close to it or held Hangman, Swerve, Brian Daniels. He's writing a book. The storyline narrative of Tony Khan has to stop. Tony Storm and Mariah May had the best storyline of the year this year. There's no debate about that. It's the best storyline of the serious? year. Are you serious? That's the best storyline of the year this year. Period. Bro, you in AEW? Know. And, it, and mm-hmm. what storyline is better? Than, don't tell. Don't tell me. Don't tell me. There's a better storyline in WWE than that one. You can't. The bloodline. I'm we sorry. Knew that. We know. I'm sorry. Revise. Revise your statement. No, I, bro, you bro, asked, bro, we work. know. Oh, we know. We know what the culmination of that is. Rhea, Rhea and Dominic. Joe, Joe, that's twice you said that tonight. Oh, ain't nothing, ain't a better storyline in WWE than this. And it's then, not even the best story on their own company. And like, Swerve and that? Hangman. Bro, that just beating your purpose. Okay, all right, so here we go. Here we go. Here we go. So how does the Bloodline story end? Rock and Roman. Rock and Roman, Roman Reigns, Supreme. Rock and Roman. How long have we known that? They weren't doing it this way because they had to change since 2015. Since 2015. Okay. Now, we know what the ending of that story is because that's on a storyboard. Who saw Mariah May turning on Tony Storm or Tony Storm turning on Mariah May? That was going to happen. That was bound to happen. I didn't know it was going to happen that soon. They did plant seeds for that, though. Right. Right. But did we know it was going to happen? Did we see anybody... As Rhea, did, did, Rhea, did Rhea Ripley or Dom or, or, or uh, uh, what's her name? What's her name that's built like an iPhone with a bad battery? Um, Liv Morgan get opened up or anything? I'm sorry. She is, bro. She just, she, I don't think she's that. She, she's got a nice face. She's built like an iPhone with a bad battery. But no one Ooh, saw. That's hilarious. <laughs> she is, bro. I'm just saying. No, no, no one. Man from the Vlog Villains jump on Aiden English. What are you talking about? Stop, bro. Stop hey, with the Vlog hey, Villain I... narrative. <laughs> 
Mm-hmm. Okay. All right. So, so it's about so, the Bob Wills in twenty twenty four. Yes. This, this, this is my this is my point. This is my point. <laughs> Tony Storm has the best gimmick. She had the best gimmick this year. No one's saying otherwise. We knew there was going to be a new bloodline after We're Roman Reigns lost. Otherwise. We knew that. What you mean? You said what? We're all saying otherwise. Joe, just get that point up, bro, and get another one because you didn't got three examples from KG and you didn't got one from Wise Man that that was not the okay. story. Right, so, okay. Well, let me, okay, well, let me break it down for you like this once again. WWE is doing storyboards. They're giving you Pixar movies. They're giving you things that are more tangible for you to be able to guess what's going to happen and see what's going to happen because obviously What do you have spot. against Pixar films, Joe? You, you know what, Joe? I actually do agree with you only because... WWE is more catered catered to children, as to where AEW, yeah, yeah, yeah. it's it's kind of, yeah. AEW is a grown man product, but it's a product. It's a it's a it's a bro. WWE is a movie. AEW is a novel. There's just a difference. That's all I'm trying to say to y'all. No, no, no. no. What we're not gonna do is you're not gonna call AEW the uh, uh, Lord of the Rings, and then gonna call a uh, wwe uh, uh uh let me think of a a, a decent movie that's it's you know it's, it's the guy uh, the, you know uh, the like nah we're not gonna do that we're not gonna do that Dude, bro it's the incredible hulk no wwe is Marvel. we know what's gonna happen yeah yeah we know what's gonna happen DC. It's yes. <laughs> it, whoa the you got you you got you you got you good job because no because like y'all like okay because we we complain this is what we complain about with wwe the match quality with wwe that's what we complain about there's yeah, not we complained about that in quite some time though exactly. there's not one so you're saying every every you're saying there's a match on SummerSlam that's outdoing the card on all in no, no, no. Gunther, your statement, your no, statement was that we, no way. Hold on. Your statement was that we complained about match quality. You have not heard anybody complaining about match quality in WWE since Paul Levesque took over. Now you hear people say, "Oh, he's not using this person good or this team good," but no one has complained about the quality of any of these matches. Let's be for real here. Okay. Raw has been solid the last okay, two that's... years. But this, this is my question. My question. my question. My question for you, in ring wise, anything in no, all in. If I say Brian Daniels, so Brian Danielson and okay, Swerve is not better than any match on that SummerSlam card. Yes or no? Bro, let KG ask his question. Go ahead, KG. I was gonna say TK arguably hurting more for the people he losing to WWE though. You pushing Jack Perry, you lost Ethan Page. You about to lose Ricky Starks. And you pushing Jack Perry. You lost Cody Rhodes. And I got, I got, a, I got a, a, a take off of what uh-huh. came Jack Perry getting pushed only because of this CM Punk thing. They showed yeah. the footage of CM Punk jumping him backstage. Yeah, that's the hottest thing AEW got going on. That's when people started back talking about AEW again. Let's be honest, Joe, because you even said it on the show yourself. That's you started tuning back in once that happened, and they saw Shamoa mm-hmm. Joe. They had to pull Samoa Joe off of C, uh, 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 I mean, CM Punk off of Samoa, uh, Samoa. Yeah. Punk Samoa, they had to pull J- uh, uh, Punk off of him. Samoa Joe had to pull yeah. Punk off of Jack mm-hmm. Perry. There we go. I was speaking too fast. Mm-hmm. That was yeah. two seasons ago, Joe. What you got to say about that? Pastor. No one is answering my question is that Brian Danielson versus Swerve is better than every match on the SummerSlam card. I'm not, not deba- I've never been. Okay, okay, yes. Okay, that's, that's what I asked y'all. That's the best I've asked y'all. I'm going to ask y'all another crap. I'm asking you this one thing. I've never debated that, but AEW's formula outside of like guys who understand ring psychology like Brian Danielson and stuff, they, they do that whole sequence of moves too often where you get just straight plastered super kicked in the face and you don't even sell it you just larry at somebody and you, that that whole formula at times and then they chant fight forever and stuff like that the match quality for the top two guys to understand ring psychology yeah but if it's just a spot fest as much as we love ricochet what he does if he gets ricky starts WWE wins that trade i'll stand by that I agree. No, I absolutely, agree with absolutely. I agree. I agree absolutely. with that statement. Only if they don't send Ricky Starks to NXT. Yep. Okay. I agree with that statement. My thing is this, and this is my only thing. 
The highlight of SummerSlam was a return. No one. That's it was the, pl- the implosion of judgment. Yes, it was. No yeah, way. And it was it was it was two things. It was two no for sure. It was two things. It was the implosion of judgment. It was the implosion of judgment day and it was the implosion of judgment day and then Roman Reigns as well. I thought those were the highlights of the implosion of judgment day and the return of Roman Reigns. Roman Reigns is the most talked about thing, but the implosion so of judgment. So fuck day. LA not US title win? I'm not saying it wasn't important. No, he said it was that. the biggest talking points, though. We're those are the biggest talking points. I thought those were great we're moments for LA Knight personally, because it was overdue to a degree. I was just saying those are the biggest talking points. Uh in my opinion. I might say my opinions and I'll be I was just saying I would think those were the two biggest things that happened. It was the culmination of not culmination, it was a continuation of the two biggest storylines they have right now. All right, go ahead. Uh, and I was a huge moment. Okay. Go ahead, so Joe, so Joe, Joe, let me yes, answer sir. your question factually because you say that we're not giving you any substance in regards to what match was better than the all out pay per view, whatever, etc. Sami Zayn versus Braun Breaker Intercontinental Title match that was better than. All out. All out. I'm done, bro. Y'all can have the show, bro. I'm no, done. no, no, Y'all, no, I'm no, done. Y'all no, can have the show. Y'all can have the show. Bro, 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 you can bro, bro, the fucking show. I can't with you this guy. Facts. Hold on, hold on, hold on. If you want facts, <laughs> I'm going to give you facts. Damn. You can't sit and say, name me a fruit that you would think is a vegetable, and I say tomato, and we all know tomatoes <laughs> is a fruit, and then you get offended by it, brother. You can't do that. Bro, Sami Zayn versus Braun Breaker was better than All Out. Bayley, I'm not gonna. I'm on, not gonna. Bayley, that's why. I, I, hey, I could be an island. I could be an island. Bailey versus Nia Jax was better than All of All Out. Um. Gunther um. Versus Damian Priest damn. was better than All of All Out. All I'm gonna say is that. And I don't need anyone to stand with me. I'm this, not okay. So I, w- I, I I have no problem. I have no problem standing alone. I, I will not argue match quality in terms. Like I said, so, a decent amount of their matches follow a certain formula. The quality of their top tier matches with the, with the guys and the gals that know how to t- sell their psychology and the moves and everything. Yes, I was saying too though with continuity, some things don't make sense. Why is Pac a trio's champion with Blackpool Combat Club? You telling me Tony Khan is writing a novel? John, that John Mox. Sound, that sound like he wrote a half a page to me. John Mox. Oh, I'm sorry. Did we forget about CM Punk versus Drew McIntyre? That was better than All Out. Let's just acknowledge that. Oh, man. That was all, oh, man. I absolutely <laughs> forgot about that match, too. Oh, my God. Boom. Boom. My point exactly. <laughs> Did you hear what my guest just said? I absolutely forgot about that match. And now no you one see, remembers. Hey, 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 recency bias. Like, damn, yo, that was better than all. <laughs> recency bias is a thing, man. Recency bias is a thing, man. <laughs> listen, man listen, listen, listen. Let me just play this shit. Let me just play this shit right now. Then we can keep going. Because I, like I, I like this discussion. That's very just healthy. And I appreciate it. <laughs> Ooh, the round table is getting heated. Heated round table. I'm starting to feel like um what was the show on ESPN with my man um um uh, Jump Bayless and uh, Tyrell Sharp. First take. Uh, uh, first Skip take. Bayless and Shannon. Oh, undisputed. Undisputed. People. Undisputed. Yeah. Undisputed. What did you just name? Wait, hey, what, yeah. wait, wait, hold on. He, he, just, named, he just named the, the channel name. He sound, he, sound, he sound like all my uncles that don't be doing the new rappers. Hey, what's that What's that new guy name? Uh, uh, uh. I'll, be, I'll be that. Nertel. Nelly. <laughs> <laughs> I just had a nod for Phil be doing something perfect. Bayless and who? Yeah, Skip Bayless, Bayless and Shannon, Shannon Sharp, Sharp undisputed. undisputed. Come on, Skip. <laughs> come on, Skip. Yeah, come on, Skip. Skip. Oh, so uh, his real name is Skip. Anyways, I feel like lately Joe has been Skip Bayless, That's true. and everyone else has been 
Is it is it Terrell Sharp? What's the Shannon Sharp? Shannon Sharp. You, know you, you know his name. Hey, he's on the road today. <laughs> Bro, Daniel Bryanson. No, please don't encourage him. Call him on my Twitter shot. Daniel Bryanson. <laughs> Bryan. Daniel Bryanson. Daniel Bryanson. Is the episode, y'all. Oh, Come on, man. Skip. Come on, Skip. Skip. His name is Shannon Sharp for real. Yeah. Yeah, yeah Shannon Sharp. Yeah. I'll be. St- I'm. I'm. I'm feeling like Joe is Skip, and the rest of us is Shannon Sharps, because Shannon Sharps. Because he's doing a plural. See what he did there? He's doing a plural. Oh, no, he's adding a plural. He's, he's, he's adding plurals to it. That's right. I like that. Okay. <laughs> Look at this. <laughs> Look at this. What's the Look name? Damn it. Let's Shannon go, birthday Shannon. boy. Oh, you got it. You got it. Shannon no, you're right. I'm saying you added the S for plural. That's what we, we love to see it. That's what we say. Now y'all messing with me because y'all know I don't watch sports like that. No, we not. Let's like, do shit. I feel like when we bring reason and logic to Joe, you just want to battle us, brother. You it's good battle. for content, but I think Joe is secretly getting paid. <laughs> Joe get Joe didn't got an AEW check and he ain't shared. I'm at Joe. If I found that, out, I think that's what it is. If Word. I found out you didn't got paid by AEW, hold on. Word. This, hold on, Donis. If old Let Tony me. didn't hit the DMs Donis. and you didn't told Donis. Him Donis. To speak, Donis. It's gonna these be guys. This was a take I did a long time ago because I felt this way a long time ago. I said, Tiffany Stratton is better than Jade Cargill. And when I said this on this podcast, yeah, I, the think man, I agree with that one. Okay, the man under you, the man under you, whoa, whoa, no, whoa, 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 whoa. Pause, my bad. You're right. No, did he? The man <laughs> who's not <laughs> is under you, pause, no, did he? <laughs> No, I don't know how you, how you can even say that. Like, yeah. below you, <laughs> you just, the, individual, no... the individual by the name of No Chill was Phil. He literally coined me as an African American man that only likes white women. White well, woman. I, I said it was because she was a white woman. But that's not a white woman. I gave, I gave you guys. I gave you guys. You see how you on the now? H. Bro. Woman, because you have been known publicly to bash African American women in the wrestling community. No, I don't. Yes, you do. No, I do. No, I don't. You talk. I've never done that. Jade Cargill. You talked about Naomi. You praise Bailey. You praise you. You you talk. You like Jada Parker because Jada Parker looked like. You know, one of your exes. Miss, the real that's Miss fine. Parker. Man. <laughs> you one of your exes. Yeah. That's fine. <laughs> Above and beyond to praise and put on the pedestal that white woman <laughs> bash the sister. Bro, I haven't bashed this. That's wild. I said. Look, that- hey, you got you got Secretary Andrew uh, defending you, Joe. Now tell her, put her comment up and tell her the truth. Tyler, you have totally done that on hot take. Go ahead, put her comment up. Hold yeah. on one second. I messed up. Nope. Okay. No, you ain't messed First up. First off. No, <laughs> you ain't messed up. <laughs> listen, listen. <laughs> this, this is what I said. I said Tiffany Stratton is better than Jay Cargill, and I stand by that because she's better than her in ring wise. She's better than her, her promo wise. Now she doesn't have presence, Jay Cargill, is because Jay Cargill is the attraction. But there is not one match where you can say, you know what? Jay Cargill is going to be a star in 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 the, in the wrestling world. You with her because she's the attraction. Jay Cargill is fine as yes. And she, and she got some of these, man. She got some of those. She and she she's a baddie. I don't give a damn about her. I don't I don't give a damn about her retired uh, husband. I don't really don't care. He he got it. He won. I, I'm not competing with him. But at the end of the day, when we're talking wrestling, no, it's. Bianca Belair at the top. I think Bianca Belair is the best woman woman in the WWE roster right now. I don't think anybody's really competing with her for that because she's the most consistent. And she cut a promo and she got a presence. I'm sorry. Period. I'm sorry. And then everybody yeah. else is everybody else is competing. Charlotte is on the show. Charlotte is on right. the show. Ba- Bailey's next. Bailey's next. But if they would actually push Bailey, that would be awesome. That would be fantastic. That would be that would, that would be awesome. But the the fact of the matter is is that. What I said was true. You don't want to see Jay Cargill wrestle. You want to look at Jay Cargill pose and do stuff. That's just the facts, bro. 
So, so Joe, you basically, I, we I have the proof. Deep. I have the proof right here. Oh, he looked it up. Right he looked here. it up. Mm -hmm. I got the proof right here. You did. Go do it. I'm going to show it in two seconds. See, Joe Hot Take. You see that? Because she's white. <laughs> number one. Number one. Number one. See that, bro? Number one. Number one. Our text chain does not look. You just typed that. Look, look, look at this. Look at this shit. This nigga just typed that. And the video actually has a message in the video. Bro, your phone don't even show up. Your phone so wait, look. So Joe, did you ba did you basically just call Jay Cargill the Batista of the, of the women's division? No, Ooh. no, because Batista can wrestle. Can he? What? Ah! <laughs> if, if his name, if it, if his name ain't either Rey Mysterio, Eddie Guerrero, somebody, or if he ain't in a tag team match, I don't want to see Batista in a singles match. Listen, because this world title bro, was listen, yeah, listen, the only good match. He had he had a great match with Undertaker, great match with Trips, he had a great match with Rey Mysterio, great match with Eddie Guerrero. Obviously, great dance partner. No, 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 no. You're straying away. No, he's definitely a great dance partner. Just ask Melina and John Morrison about that fact, situation. We're not straying away from the fact that you said that Tiffany Stratton was better than Jay because she's white. I think we better. Yeah. I, okay. When I say six, why six is at us now? You no, know, Chad I, Gable. Oh, 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 thank you. KG, happy birthday, bro. Bro, salute, salute, salute. Thank you. I got a heated roundtable discussion for y'all. You got a wine glass, my brother. I see you. Okay. Go ahead, brother. Bro, hey. Yeah, the Merlot. This brother is on Very classy. Level. <laughs> Very classy, my brother. This brother's on a whole new level of good classy. He drinking Hennessy out of a wine glass. Hey, that's yep. diabolical. <laughs> diabolical. He drinking Hennessy <laughs> out of a stem wine glass, brother. Man. Brother. I'm a savage in real I will life. Be the first okay. to say, I will be the first to say that that in-ring match with Uncle Howdy versus Chad Gable was dog shit. <laughs> opportunity. The Wyatt Six is bullshit. They flushing a great opportunity down the toilet. Let me give you substance as to why. Okay? Is that okay? Mm -hmm. yep. Stay right there while you're talking. Let me point out something to you. Every scary, horrific, monster-like character in the WWE, Undertaker, Kane, Mankind, Boogeyman, Bray Wyatt. Mm -hmm. When have you ever known them to come in and in their first match borderline get their ass kicked? Never. 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 You ain't never seen Kane, Mankind, any of these cats walk into the ring in their first match, their debut match, and get borderline beat until Uncle Howdy. A wasted opportunity on a wasted-ass character on a wasted-ass product that's dog shit. <laughs> <laughs> That's dog shit. So oh wait, my god. Y'all telling me that y'all have been promoting this horror character not only on the WWE Raw and SmackDown, but the Pat McAfee show and other wrestling shows that are affiliated with. And then the what when the time comes to have the leader of this group have a match, he borderline gets his ass kicked. Stop it. Oh, him, him need some help. Him, him need help. Bro, stop. Stop, bro. That Uncle Howdy shit is trash, along with everything else that they've been trying to do from Bray Wyatt. They're squeezing water from a stone, and the shit was trash. It was a wasted opportunity. That's why Clutch drinking out 
That's why Clay yeah, drink out the bottle now, not the one's wine glass. Because he know that shit is trash. Yeah, let me know. I want you to finish. I, yeah, I want you to finish. I really want you to finish. Trash, 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 trash. All right, this, this is definitely clutch moment right here because it is. I'm just heated. Clutch, if you if you will, clutch if you will. Trash, step trash. step to the podium. I'm trying to understand how. Okay, God damn it. Um, hmm. I know it's hard. The to people that it. you it's name, trash. they all have one thing in common. They were presented as monsters. You mean to tell me, because in their debut matches, they were matches that they were supposed to win, that they were bad because they were supposed to win because they were presented as monsters? Huh? I don't get it. Me neither. I, I'm not going. So you mean it? So so like okay. So I'll paint this picture for you. So when Kane fought the Undertaker for the first time back in like '97, would you have liked for him to have lost? No, we're not talking about that. We're talking. No, 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 no. No, no, no. They're in the same you. bracket, hold right? On, hold on, hold on. Gray Wyatt, you Bo Dallas, as so Uncle Howdy, um, Taker, all them niggas, same bracket, when boom. Kane, so you telling me out. in 97 you would prefer that Taker squashed his, his brother in his debut match? There was no way Undertaker would have squashed his brother. No well, way. Well, why was Kane, that? Kane would have squashed uh, Undertaker. Thank you. That's how you build a character. No, I don't even think that was Hold on. First. Wait, that's well, not did, what you said. Okay, hold, on. Nah, that's not, said. Hold, on, hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Everybody let the clutch finish first. So, so you said it's basically just said it don't make any sense for Undertaker to have lost to his brother. Is what you're saying? That's not what I said. Oh, man, I'm trying to say I asked. What makes what more saying, sense in that scenario? What I'm saying is, so when Kane came in, that's mm-hmm. gotta be Kane. Y'all remember the build up? That shit, yeah. Remember Kane ripped off the door. Undertaker was looking like, what the hell? Remember he choke slam Kane, or remember he choke slam Undertaker? Remember all that? Mm-hmm. They built up to a storyline. Their first match. We're talking about the Undertaker. This this is my point. I see where I see where Joe is ready to pounce like a little cheetah. Okay. <laughs> when we're talking about somebody the caliber of an Undertaker, that's different. This is Chad fucking Gable. <laughs> That also this wasn't even bro, Kane's first bro, match. Bro, first Gable, first Gable, match. Per Gable. So hold on. Per, don't look, sleep on Per Gable. Gable. <laughs> no, no, no. I'm no, I'm not sleeping on Chad Gable, but there's no fucking way you can compare Chad Gable to Undertaker. Now, Clutch. Me and you normally agree to disagree, but we can disagree on respectable terms, unlike me and Joe. To have there's no way. That Uncle Howdy should have struggled in that match with Chad Gable as his debut match. There is no fucking way. The only reason I can say it even went that way is really because of how good Chad Gable is. You know how bad the IWC would have been just real ready talk about how bad that they buried him if they didn't at least give him some type of offense in that match we're as good as he actually is and the way the business is set up they had no problem letting him get some offense in but still the outcome was going to be the outcome he got off he got all his good his big moves off he took the straps off and everything well, well we knew what was going to happen so i don't think that was bad for that reason it wasn't like a three-minute squash match it wasn't like he ate all his stuff and then it was ineffective Hell, he had Uncle Howdy looking kind of tired until exactly, exactly. So you have this monster-like character looking tired in his debut match. Can can I go after you finish, Clutch? Whoa, pause, bro. Pause. (laughs) Okay, so hear me out. So let's have mankind look tired in his debut match against Tito Santana on Monday Night Raw. And then let's build up a storyline with Mankind versus him and The Undertaker. Bro, there's no fucking way. So the new monster, when they brought in Braun Strowman, hey, let's have Braun Strowman look tired against Rey Mysterio because he's small and fast. No! You don't build up your monsters that way. 
make it make sense. There make is it make no sense. reason. Um, there is first, no reason. This is first supposed of, to be the new life. This book, they got the green light from the Undertaker, right? They got the blessing from the man himself. There is no fucking way that the new face of fear, the new monster, the new scary bad guy looks tired against Chad Gable. Because I'm an old and, American, yeah. Um, first of all, Kane's first match wasn't even against the Undertaker. It was against Mankind, a Survivor Series, in terms of his first major match. He also went into a I'm sorry, first what? His first match was against Mankind, not even against Taker. You said first major match. Yeah, first it was major match. that wasn't his first match. He had dark matches. Yeah, no, so but as Kane, as Kane, <laughs> his first, <laughs> as Kane, his first match, not as, not as, Isaac Yankum, all that, or no, I mean, fake Diesel, as as Kane, his first major match, <laughs> Mankind, Survivor Series 1997, where the screw job happened. He also feuded with Vader at live events, and he used the wrench and knocked, knocked Vader out with a wrench at No Way Out, 1998. Yeah. And that's how they wrote Vader off. That's how they were, and then there was Undertaker at WrestleMania 14. That's when their feud started. I mean, that's when they actually wrestled. Let and then they were wrestling. Let me interject for a second. Uncle Howdy is an entity, not a monster. We have to get out of our own thoughts that something scary is monstrous. Freddy Krueger isn't huge. He's That's not great. big. He's not large. The nun isn't a large, looming entity that is just larger than life. They're small. They're stalking. They prey on people. Bo Dallas is 5'11". Eric Rowan is 6'5", 6'6". That's the monster of the group. The Wyatt Six is not the NWO. The Wyatt Six is not the X. The Wyatt Six is not even APA. They're a stalking entity. They're supposed to be in a space where they look like just minuscule creatures that may not harm you, but they can, and they can F you up. They don't get you with a big shot. They get you with a Then what was the point of that big promo where they knocked everybody out, where everyone was bleeding, where everyone was laid out? Then what was the point of that? They had Because it was a cut, Phil. It was a cut. And it they was also had so, weapons. So, 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 Joe, so, Joe, to your point, to your point, to your point. Yes, Freddy Cougar is not big. Freddy Cougar is actually pretty anorexic. Does that mean you want to fuck with Freddy Cougar? Hell no. <laughs> well, to go back to that debut. Bro, uh, hold, hold, so you want to? So you so you want to fuck with the Wyatt Six? Oh, you gross, Paul. Hold on, hold on, bro. That Wyatt Six is six members of the WWE that are begging for some type of out so they don't lose their job. That's just trash. Uh, <laughs> no, we look at it like that. Bill, 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 I want I want right I want to break something down. Lumis, Nikki Cross, Bo Dallas, I need my job back cuz my brother died. Eric Rowan. Okay, can and you read whoever them? the hell else, bro? That's just trash, bro. No, it's not. Bro, you don't Okay. I'm going to say the same thing I said in another podcast. You want the Wyatt Six to be the NWO so bad that you don't no, like them. No. You, no, no yes, no, you no, do. No, no, no. Yes, no, you I do. Don't. Because no, you... Let, hold on, no, wait. I stop. Don't. Stop, stop. Let me, let me explain to you why. You don't like the reality of the situation where maybe the antagonist might lose as an entity. But because, again, like Clutch said, in the era that we live in now, with Chad Gable being the, one of the best in-ring performers at WWE... He has to get in some offense. And if we watch the match, American Made interfered first. Bray Wyatt's first match against Kane, freaking Luke Harper and Eric Rowan interfered first, and that's how he won that match. Let's not get it twisted. And it was an Inferno match. He was tired. It was an Inferno match. It's an Inferno match. And Kane got a lot of offense in that match, too. Stop. We got to stop with this narrative. Well, I said this in the beginning. They are not going to be a group that is going to be like all the other groups that we know. They're like the shield that just beats up everybody. No, 
It's a cut. Yeah, because of trash. All right, bro. I okay. Um, yeah, also, during their oh, debut, yeah. to, to talk about their debut when everybody <laughs> was bleeding. <laughs> talk about the debut when everybody was bleeding. <laughs> They also had weapons in their hands during that thing where everybody's laid out backstage bleeding. Also, Bo Dallas's character, Uncle Howdy, is not supposed to be a menacing figure necessarily because he's a character in itself that's fighting an inner demon because constantly they go back showing Bo Dallas's face, Uncle Howdy's face. He's clearly being mentally tormented. He's being tormented mentally, and he's in a space where he doesn't necessarily even know who he is type thing. It's not supposed to be anything that we are accustomed to already knowing it's supposed to be something that messes with our minds and allows us to think outside the box like why they're targeting certain people maybe it thank has something for, to do thank you for that all. elaborate thesis kg wasn't that the same thing they did with mankind when mankind turned into do love or when mankind went from mankind to mick foley then to do love bro stop the narrative stop defending these trash ass people this that was schizophrenia, crazy. fool. This that wasn't the same thing. Oh, <laughs> that wasn't oh, the same oh. thing. <laughs> that was not remotely the okay, same so thing. Let's talk about schizophrenia then. Let's talk, let's talk about schizophrenia then. Um, does anyone remember Heidenreich? That was Did you just say Heidenreich? Uh, you said Heidenreich. Heidenreich. You said, all right, no, no, Heidenreich, Heidenreich, Heidenreich was... No, you, was, no, so no, 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 no. No, you said Heidenreich. The point, the point of the why at six is supposed to be people that were outcasted who were left for dead in a sense. Mm -hmm. And now they're basically coming back and they're starving in a sense. Mm -hmm. And they're targeting like people that. they perceive who are doing who are who are thriving by doing wrong. And they've been oh, thinking oh. that and they think. and they've been kind of thinking like these people are doing everything wrong. We were left for dead type thing. Some of this might even have to do with some of Bray Wyatt's past characters. I said before, maybe Chad Gable was being targeted because he bullied the people he claimed to love. What happened when Bray Wyatt was Husky Harris? He got whipped with a leather strap by CM Punk and abused because he was overweight like Otis. Mm -hmm. Joe, put up the comment from... Uh... I like that. Se I like Just that. wait till they attack the Judgment Day. I like that. Put up the comment from who? Secretary Andrew. Just one. wait till they attack Judgment Day. That's all. Hey, I, yeah, now, yeah, yeah. now. Nah, nah, yeah. Wait one. till they get Judgment Day. I do agree with that. However, what they just did, that's the type of stuff that they are targeting. They're targeting. So they're next. I say to him, they gonna get Judgment Day next. Is that is that the one you want, Phil? I'm seeing comments of people saying they have. Yeah, your vo your volume, like you gotta get into your space for your volume has yeah. to be up. Man, Uncle Howdy's mask is absolutely terrible. I don't think he can wrestle up in there. He gotta change. You gotta change that. I agree. He gotta change that. No, no, it's worse. It's worse. It kind of was in your position, and you were sitting a certain way, and you was projecting, and we could hear you a lot better. But now, do you want? Do you want to hop on and hop hop off and hop back on? <laughs> hey, man. Come on, man. Come on, bro. No. You might need to Come hop on that back off, bro. Because here we got to do a pause. Log out. Log out. Log, out. Log in. We got to do Bash of Berlin picks, and we got to do WCW, then we got to do uh, Hot Tick After Dark. Leave and come back, bro. Yeah, go out and come. Yeah. Leave and come back. As KG said, Log out, log back in, and then yeah. Yeah, and then we'll yeah. Main event, you want to do uh WCW while he do that, so he'll be back. Yeah. I'm gonna turn that thing up. Then hold on one second. Here we go. Acknowledge your WCW. on me ew no yeah i think you do hey. beautiful 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 hey. there goes my baby you don't know how good it feels to call you my girl there goes my baby
That's right. That's right. Nikki Blackheart is our WCW, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, she has uh, added us to her story, which I greatly appreciate as well. She's also like the uh, actual post we put up. She, I think she wrestles out of uh, the southern area for the most part, if I'm, if I'm not correct. But she's one of the rising up and coming independent wrestlers. She is also good with insurance, setting up insurance as well. So if you need insurance, please have Nikki Blackheart as well. She'll be able to assist you with that. Get all those things going for you. So. With that being said, shout out to Nikki Blackheart. Thank you for putting us a page. And at the end of the day, ladies and gentlemen, send it. You know what that means if you've been watching Hot Take Wrestling for a while. I don't yeah. know what it is. I don't know what it is about a woman who could put me up in an arm bar or a headlock that probably was going to turn me on. But hey, yeah, I'll right. just keep the show on. Let's okay, hold on. Hold on one second. Hold on one second. Hold on one second. Hold on one second. <laughs> Donis, listen. Okay, I, I ain't trying to put your business out here. Listen. Because I don't think Uh-oh. you remember this. Here we go. Okay. Donis. <laughs> After a show, pulled one of the one of the most frozen peanut butter thickest women I've ever seen in my life. I put it in the group chat. Yeah, in the group chat. Oh man, the you... boy, boy. Man, so I, I have to ask Donis because he said he like a woman that could put him in a, in a, in a headlock. <laughs> Donis, Donis, if you have to choose between the lovely Bianca Belair. Or the ravishing Rhea Ripley. Who are you going with? That's crazy. That's crazy work, by the way. That's that crazy. is crazy work. That's crazy work. Crazy work. Uh, I don't know if I'm a, I don't know if I like calling somebody mommy. So yeah, I'm gonna go be Uncle Belair. <laughs> I'm definitely gonna be Uncle <laughs> But if I'm if I'm going anybody in the whole entire WWE. Either give me Jay Jada Parker or give me um uh La- Lash La- Lash Lash Legend. Uh, uh, Lash Lash Legend. Legend. Oh, Can y'all hear me now? Does this work? Oh, oh that's way better. Yes, Yeah, it goes down right. Okay. All right, screw it. Screw it. Screw it. Screw it. Screw it. Erica Lopez and and Jasmine Alex, ja- Jasmine Alex. Those two, those two, that they'll do it for me. That's that's good for me. Those two, that's good. For those two, that's it. Logan, go pick two. That's not Rhea Ripley or not Bianca Belair in WWE or in AD. WWE. Yeah, pick two. Uh, definitely going Jada. And you know what? She hasn't got her moment in the sun yet. She gives me Alicia Fox vibes, but she's fine to me, though. Uh, Jakara in NXT. Okay. okay. Jakara Jackson. Yes, sir. Yeah. 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 Wait, what's the question? What are we talking about? So we made, we made Donna's pick work. <laughs> we made Don's pick between uh, Bianca Rip- Belair and Bianca. Ripley. He expounded upon that and picked uh, Lash Legend and Jada Parker as well. As far as what? A match or just in general? Just no. Hell no. no. Now cool. we, did the w- we did the WCW earlier too. So we did, that's the only reason why we're doing it. What the yeah. fuck? <laughs> <laughs> You're going to be able to say your WCW spiel. I'm going to give it to you. I'm not going to just let, leave you out here in the cold, my friend. I got you. <laughs> Insert media meat. Pause. You want what? You want the video? Or you want the which one? Nah, he want to. He want to run the video back. You want the video on IG? Or you want the little intro? I want everything. Ah! Yeah. Yo, hey, yo. One more time for what? It's his birthday. It's his birthday. Oh, it's his birthday. It's his birthday.
acknowledge your WCW. No, I think you have a little crush on me. Ew, no. Yeah, I think you do. Hey. Beautiful, 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 beautiful. Hey. There goes my back. Hi, Nikki Blackheart. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> As my feet swing here in my Spider Man chair, Nikki, I want to love you so your heart turns from black to red or pink or something. I know you're the savage. But you don't have to be a savage with me, baby. Bro, what is with these women that God been making lately? This is, this is messed up. I had the pleasure of being on She Talk Wrestling Podcast yesterday. That episode will be dropping later on this week. And I said on She Talk Wrestling Podcast, and I need y'all to get off y'all phones. What the fuck is y'all doing? I was trying to twitch. I need y'all to understand this. I'm in love. I'm in wow. Sade love. With wow. who? These women's. All right. Okay. Nah. Bro. Bro. You bro. said God making these new women. They they all up here in our age range and stuff. They bro. been here. What? Yeah, they been here, doctor. They, no, they, they just got some camera on them now. Bro. But they have been here. Since, got ring lights. Since, bro. Nikki Blackheart so fine, I will take out a payday loan for her. I swear to God, and for more white people, I will take yeah, out a payday loan a payday for loan. her. She a is payday 27 loan. years of age. She that what? fine, bro. Jesus. A lot She's of these women is that fine, bro. I don't get it. I don't get it. Clutch, I have to address your comment. Some of these chicks is in their early 20s. Okay. I will never forget my gym teacher in my freshman year of high school was in her early 20s and she looked like Greg the Hammer Valentine. <laughs> <laughs> it was a woman, but she looked like Greg the Hammer Valentine. She looked like a linebacker. <laughs> you see these women now. And it's like, wait, who your mom and daddy? Where you, oh, man. Where you come from? And let me tell you something. It's a new time. It's a new age. Bro, I want to leave the door it's a open. New it is I a want new to season. leave the door open for Nikki Blackheart because maybe my love can turn her heart from black to red. <laughs> it can happen. I'm gonna leave the door open. I'm gonna leave the door open. I'm gonna leave the door open again. God damn. Because if you feel the way I feel and I want you like I want you tonight, Nikki. Tell me, tell me if you're coming through. Tell me that you're coming through, girl. Y'all <laughs> don't encourage that shit. <laughs> sorry, sorry, sorry. Hey, don't, yeah, to don't, cause he'll, he'll, he gonna, he gonna keep sorry, shit. Sorry, so yes. sorry, so sorry. And lives and shit. I got something to say to all the beautiful women's in the wrestling world, all the beautiful women's that's watching this podcast, all the beautiful women's that follow us. Women's, women's, <laughs> woo, women. <laughs> Take my money. Oh shit! Okay. My house. <laughs> right. Dash Berlin. Okay, Dash Berlin. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Cody Rhodes, Kevin Owens. Oh, baby, baby. <laughs> <laughs> Goddamn. <laughs> <laughs>
Dash and Chrissy, Bird we Hill. trying. We're trying. Oh, we're trying. Oh, was, okay. You know what? I said, I said, yeah. Hey, hey we're trying. We're trying it's, to stop. It's his birthday, though, so he don't like. Yeah. You know what? Hey. Chrissy can't talk. Chrissy can't. Hold up. Put the comment down. Chrissy can't talk. I know it's her birthday. Have y'all seen Chrissy's pictures? Yes. Yes. Bro, I swear to God, Chrissy posted a picture today and I licked my phone. I licked my phone. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. All right. All right. All right. All right. Give me the magic picture. <laughs> you, you want me to hey. stop, Chrissy? Set up, set up. Yeah, hey, hey, hey. <laughs> That's gross. <laughs> the the Riz, the Riz, the went all the way out the window. Hey, hey, yeah, hey, just, hey. Just, now you, now you just, now you just took his shooting. You can't be yeah, fine yeah. like Chrissy Tina. Bro, do you he's see, chucking. Do you see them curves on her? Do you see that? Waz, man. Do you see hey, he's chucking. Waz, man. Hey, let's do these bash of Berlin picks and we're going to hot take after dark. To all I after. want to do these bash of these women's hot take after dark. <laughs> yeah. Now, wow. hot take after dark on IG. We're going to get this bash of Berlin yeah. picks and we're going to go around this thing on out. Everybody ready? Yes, yes sir. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, hey, real quick. Berlin. Hey, real Take quick. Real this quick. Saturday. Real quick, we're just we're just going through them. No explanation. Go through them. That way, you can go to Hot Tech After Dark on IG. That gets filled up time to to do the you know. Oh, I gotta make a name for myself here. Type shit. So we going to make a name. Hell yeah, it's coming, baby. It's oh, don't start him on that, please. To the whenever you want to, whenever you want to be on this pod, you let me know. Pod, you let bro. me know. She wanted us to come on her pod, wise man. Bro, I want to. Oh, bro, right. Bro, put a picture up of Chris and Tina. I'll lick this computer screen right now. All right. All right. Uh, yeah, Here we go. Here we go. <laughs> I'm just going to go down to the uh, string of matches that they have announced on CBS Sports. Joe Wood going. Hey, yo. <laughs> yo, <laughs> did he? <laughs> hey, yo, why y'all have to do it, bro? Joe. 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 L A C O J. What is he doing? I know he's gonna do it. I know he's gonna do it. I have to do it. You should have known he was gonna do it. He was that serious. Look, Joe, remove him from the show. Listen. No, you don't. You remove you from the show, Kenny. I will gladly do that after I take my after I do my picks. I will gladly go to sleep. I want to let him. No, it's his birthday too. All right, it's Kenny's birthday too. Kenny ain't licking the screen. Now listen. <laughs> now listen. You gonna lick the screen hey, on right. Kenny's birthday? Yeah. Hey, All right. Now let's hey, get it. Let's get it. Wow. Let's get it. Come on. Hey, let's run through it. it. Run through it. Run through this it. This Saturday. It. This Saturday. Bash at Berlin. I'm just gonna go through them. CBS Sports World Heavyweight Championship. Gunther hey. versus Randall Keith Orton. Go. Gunther. Gunther. KG. Walter. Gunther, Cody, Rhea, and ah, uh, no, no. I'm picking. No, I'm doing all of them. No, brother. Oh, I'm not going to do it. 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 I'm not going to do to Mr. Randy Watson, that's his pick. Okay, hey, KG is highly offended. I ain't never seen <laughs> <laughs> you got KG ready to go through his whole pick. Nah, man. All right, now, undisputed hey, WWE man, championship Cody Rose versus Kevin Owens. Go, Cody, Cody, Cody. Wise Chrissy. man, Chrissy. I'm picking for wise man Cody Rhodes. Okay, all right. Damian Priest and Rhea Ripley versus Dominic Mysterio and Liv Morgan. Mixed Dom. Dirty Dom. <laughs> I got Dirty Dom. <laughs> I'm conflicted. I'm conflicted. I'll go Dom and Liv because I know they got to do. They got to set up Finn and Damian Priest at yep. Bad Blood. Because yeah. I think it's going to be Demon Valor, Damian Priest. So I guess he'll interfere and cost them. All right. The Terra Twins going to win. And because they got to beat Dom and Rhea so that, number one, I said Dom and Rhea. Dom, Dom and Liv because Rhea not going to keep losing coming back after her injury. So let's just don't yeah. count on it. And then they have to set up a way for Finn Balor and um, Priest match to look like something. They have to win this match. That's to look legit. Yeah. 
So there it is. Yeah, I was kind of going. I was kind of leaning that way, but I just I went the opposite way just because just more on the lines of but yeah, like you said, and you you don't want the former champions keep losing. Yeah. As long as the title not on the line, Liv lose this yeah. match don't mean nothing. Plus, I think Dom. I think Dom will take the pinfall. If, right. if that's absolutely, so. it's definitely yeah. gonna be him. Yeah, he dirty mustache. Motherfucker. Probably <laughs> even see Rhea hit him with a riptide, even though it's supposed to be you know men and I supposed yeah, to hit, him with, hit him with yeah. nasty. Yeah, hit him, yeah. Hit him with the next one. He's uh, gonna get all types yeah. of retribution, but I feel like Liv gonna come out with the roll up at the very end. That's probably my yeah. That's, probably, that's a good. One I too. cringe every time I see Oblivion. I'm gonna say it every time it happened. I I hate that. Move. <laughs> that hey, I hate that move too. It's retarded. I hate it's Oblivion. Too. Fucking retarded. All right, wise man. Should I even ask you? <laughs> <laughs> no, we're not doing it. We're not doing it. I'm gonna pick, I'm gonna pick Rhea and Damian for it. For that. <laughs> Hey, you know he like bro, Liv. Pick my bro for the whole you know he show. Like Liv. Oh, we got the first Drew McIntyre strap match. Go, and that's Paul. Uh, <laughs> Whoa! Say so let this match. I said I did both. Hey, he did. He did. CM Punk. CM Punk. Um, I'm going Drew. Okay. I ain't gonna lie. I'm not. I'm not gonna lie because the way. He not gonna get that risk. He not gonna get that dog tag thing back until maybe before Royal Rumble. Maybe at Royal Rumble. Think so? <laughs> yeah. I think it's I gonna like be. They still got okay. help in the cell. They still got a uh, bad blood. Yeah, and then in in Atlanta, yeah. I thought bad blood was replacing hell in the cell. I think, that's why I think they're going to, that's why, because the original Hell in a Cell was at Bad Blood with Shawn Michaels and Undertaker. So I thought, I mean, I could be wrong. I could look it up, but. Yeah. If they have a Hell in a Cell match there, like, that's the one that took it over for sure. Yeah, I'm yeah. pretty sure that's what it's going to be. Yeah. Sure. All right. All right. Um, and for I didn't get my pick, got... bro. <laughs> yeah, yeah, here we go. <laughs> you said not to ask you. You have to, we got, we got, we got, you. Okay, <laughs> the last uh, women's tag team championship match. No, bro, I didn't get a chance to get my pick for the strap match. For the Pause, oh, bro, okay. Jesus. <laughs> Can I get my Go pick? Go ahead. Go ahead. Two studs. Any two studs. That's nice. Hey, man. Hey. Don't go to the tag. Stug, stug, hey, Stug, who you, you could have chose any any other type of woman. You could have chose a baddie. You could have chose, You could have chose a beautiful woman. You chose two. Yeah. You were two. Hey, you, <laughs> you gotta be <get> dog. <laughs> hey, yeah. Stud Coochie is untapped territory, bro. All right, okay, all right. Come on, come on, come back. Cause we going <laughs> somewhere else. Go. Last match, last match listed on CBS Sports for Bash at Berlin is Unholy Union, Alba Fire, and uh, I, uh, Isla Dawn versus Bianca Belair and Jay Card. Bianca and Jay. Bianca and Jay. That's the one. Uh, Isla and Alba because they're gonna build towards Jay turning heel, yeah. so it don't really make sense for them to get the titles back because Jay and Jay and Bianca okay. gotta happen at some point. And I just confirmed, and I just confirmed, I looked at their chronological pay per views. There is no Hell in a Cell this year. After this is Crown Jewel, then it's Survivor Series, and I think they don't have one listed, so I don't think there is a Hell in a Cell this year. Yeah. Okay, so more than likely it'll be. Finn and Priest and then Punk and McIntyre, they do two cell matches, I would think. Or it could, or it's going to be somebody from the bloodline down against Roman and Hell in a Cell, one and two. Oh, yeah. Okay. All right. So that's Bad Shit Berlin, people. Y'all make sure y'all tune in on Saturday. You also got on Sunday, I want to say that's NXT uh, No Mercy. Is it No yeah. Mercy? Yeah. yeah. Oh, so y'all yeah. for that. Uh, Jada Parker versus Roxanne. Um, I think that's probably going to end up headlining. You got Ethan Page going against uh, Joe Hendry as well. Uh, so we'll cover that uh, next week. And uh, like Joe said, we're going to switch this thing on to IG Live for Hot Take After Dark. Y'all meet us over there. We're going to be over there in the comments, and we're going to be over there live with the wise man as he do his thing with his crown and his – G units. Real quick, real quick. 
Guys, thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, down to some where they can follow you at, bro. Tell them where they can see you at. Tell them what the next show is. All that jazz. You can follow me at Donna's Dot the Don on IG, and then look me up on all streaming platforms. Donna's D O N I S with a dollar sign. And then yeah, make sure y'all get the uh, extended pleasure EP. Y'all already you know I'm gonna be at the basement every Friday. And then you know, yeah, yeah. Donna, thanks for coming on the show, brother. No, thank you for having me, man. <laughs> thank y'all so much. We're going to see our live G, man. Make sure y'all follow us. Make sure y'all uh, post the live up. We will see y'all on IG in the next couple of moments where we will give you the following. Yeah. Hot take. Hot take. Hot take. Hot take after dark. <laughs>